What's up guys, Andre here, and today I'd like to take a look at Laravel Folio. Folio is page-based routing for your Laravel apps. So if you've used a framework like Next.js or Nux before, it's similar to that where your routes are generated automatically simply by creating a file for your view. It's completely optional, so if you don't like this approach, you don't have to use it, and you can continue to use the router just like you're used to. Folio was another product launched at Laracon US, so if you haven't seen Taylor's talk yet, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. So we'll take a look at some examples and then we'll refactor this blog application I have here to make use of Folio routes. So let's go ahead and install this into our application. The documentation is currently still in the GitHub repo, but once it's out of beta, it should be moved to the Laravel.com website. So let's go ahead and Composer require it. So I'll do that here. Okay, and now there should be an install command php artisan folio install okay and now that should be installed so if we take a look at what it installed here obviously it installed the composer package we have this folio service provider and we can add middleware to multiple routes within here which i'll show you later on it also added that to our list of service providers and it added this new folder so resources, views, pages, which you can see here. So pretty self-explanatory here. If we create a new blade view within this pages folder, so let's say about.blade.php, and I'll just make use of this existing layout that I have. It's called blog layout. Let me just grab what I have from here so it is consistent. Container MX Auto should be fine. Let's just put that in here, close that out. Let's say about page, and this should automatically generate a route for us. So if I go into my app, go to slash about, that should work, and it does. So no need to add a new route in our routes file. All of that is generated automatically. Let's add a new route here for users. So let me just duplicate this one. Let's say users.blade.php, and let's say users page. And that would generate a user's link or a user's route. But another way to generate this would be to create a user's folder and within there, put an index.blade.php in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a new user's folder and a new file named index.blade.php. Let's grab all of this. Let's cut that out. Let's actually delete this one. And then we will paste that in our index, and that should be the same thing. So if I refresh, it still works. Now what if we needed to run some PHP or pass some data to this view? So you can do that directly within the view using the PHP directive. So let's do that up here, PHP and NPHP. So typically you would do this logic within a controller or within a closure from the routes file, but you can do it directly in here. So let's say users is user all, and we have to import user here. So this one should go within the PHP, okay? And now we should be able to make use of this users variable within our blade view. So I'll put another div here, say MT4, and we can loop over the users here. So I'll say for each users as user, and let's just say div username, and that should work. Okay, save that, and we do get our list of users. And if you want to see all of your folio routes, there is an artisan command, php artisan folio list. And you can see we have those two that we created. Now, what about route params? Say, for example, we wanted to show a specific user. Well, usually we would say users slash ID. Let's take a look at how we can do that. If you take a look at the docs here, you'll see there is an artisan command we can make use of, or we can just do it manually. So we have to create a file named square brackets id.blade.php within the users folder. So let's just do that manually. So let's create a new file, let's paste that in. And let me just grab this again, paste that in, and we can get rid of this. And let's say, one section for the user ID. So user ID is ID, and that will be passed through automatically. And we have to manually get the user. 
if we wanted to show that information. So let's say user, and let's just output their name here. So user name. So again, we have to grab the user here. We can say user equals user find. We can use find or fail as well. And the ID is automatically being passed through here. So ID, and that should work. So let me save this. Let's go to slash users slash ID, say one. And we do get that information. Now, what about using route model binding? So we don't have to grab the user manually. We can do that as well. So it's basically the same as this, but we named the file square bracket model name. So in this case, square bracket user. If your models aren't in the default location, there's an option for that as well. But in our case, user should be fine. So let me duplicate this. Let's name it user. And I believe this should take precedence. Let's find out. So we don't need this anymore. Actually, we don't even need this PHP block here. But if you need any logic, you can put it in there. And now we should have the username here. So let me add user here to the ID since we have that user object. And let me just make sure this view takes precedence over our ID. So let's say route model binding. Okay, save that. Let's see if this still works. And it looks like it does. Now for middleware, you can make use of the standard opening and closing PHP blocks here and define middleware like this. So again, we're not using the PHP directive. We're using less than question mark PHP. So let's go ahead and grab this and apply this middleware to our about page. So let's go back to about blade PHP. Let's go up here. Let's paste that in. And now if I hit this route, it should go to the login page because it's behind the middleware auth. So let's go to slash about. And it does work. Now, if you want to apply middleware to groups of routes, you can do that within your folio service provider. So right here, we can specify which routes we want to target for our middleware and then provide the middleware here. So let's try that out. So folio service provider right here. We'll just say for all routes, let's provide that auth middleware. And now every route should be behind the auth middleware. So if I try slash users, that should, again, redirect us to this page. And it does. And I should have a user in here. So let me just log in. And that should work now. And it does. Cool. So as you've seen, we haven't even touched the routes file, but we were able to create blade files, run some PHP, and even pass data to our views. Now, at the time of this recording, there's currently one feature that's missing that I personally make use of all the time, and that's defining route names. As you can see, there is an issue for it, and it is being worked on. So for now, you cannot make use of route names, which I am making use of in this blog application, which we will refactor to make use of Folio routes. But like I said, we cannot use route names. So typical blog application, we have a list of posts here. We can go into a single post here. And if I'm logged in as the person who created this post, then we should see edit here, and we can edit the post as well. And this requires a login, and I am logged in. I'm just making use of the scaffolding that Laravel Brief provides. And of course, you can also create a new post. So let's take a look at the routes file for that. So let's go into our routes web. So I have this route group. This is for creating a post. So it's behind the auth middleware. So you have to be logged in to create the post. Same thing for editing for these two routes here. And this is just the default dashboard. Again, you have to be logged in for all of these routes. And for these two routes down here, these are public, so they are not behind a middleware. So let's go ahead and see if we can refactor this using Folio routes. So let's start with the post controller index. So this one right here. Again, we can't make use of route names, so I have to refactor that as well. So let's go into here. All we're doing is grabbing the posts and passing them to the index. So that should be simple enough. Let's comment this one out. Let's go back to our views here. And this is the view that shows the posts and I'll just leave that in there, but we will put it in the pages folder. So it's a folio route. So let me copy this. Let's go into our pages folder right here and let's go ahead and make a new folder. So this one will be posts slash index dot blade dot PHP. Let's paste that in. Let's go ahead and add our PHP blocks up here. 
let's say PHP. And we need our posts. So posts equals post all. Let's make sure to import post. Okay. Save that. And I am making use of routes here. You can see right here, or route names, I mean. So we have to remove that. So post.show, let's get rid of all of this. And just say slash posts slash post ID. Okay, that should be fine. Let's save that and let's see if our index of posts still works. Post.index not defined. Okay, so we have post.index somewhere and we can't use route names anymore. So where's this? So if you go into navigation blade PHP, again, we have to refactor all of these routes because we can't make use of route names here. So let me just do this behind the scenes. Actually, I'll do one here. So there should be slash posts. Or actually, our posts are showing on the main page. So it's just slash here. And instead of request route is, we can just say request route and give it the URL. So in this case, slash. Again, I'll just do the rest behind the scenes. Okay, so I updated all of that and it does seem to work now. Let's go back to our posts page and 404 not found. I think that's because I put the route within the posts folder. So slash posts should be our posts page now. And it does seem to work, but I want that in the root at slash. So we can just move that file. So yeah, we don't want that here. We just want it in the root of the pages folder. Okay. And now that should work. Let's do the same for our show posts here. So that still works because it's still defined in our routes file, but let's make use of folio for that. So back to our routes file. Let's comment out the show route. Save that. Let's go to post controller. So again, pretty straightforward. It's just passing in the post. So let me just grab the show blade. We'll copy all of this and we'll use route model binding here. So we can create a new file within our posts folder. Name of the model is post with square brackets dot blade dot PHP. Let's paste that in. The post should be passed through automatically and we can save that and hopefully that still works. So let me refresh here. Let's click on this and it still works. Let's work on edit here. So again, this should still work because it's still defined in our routes file. So let's use folio for that. So again, back to our routes file. So editing is this one right here. And for the actual patch request right here, which updates the post, this route is not associated with the view. So we still have to keep it within our routes file. But this one here, we can make use of folio for. So again, let's take a look at the logic here. That should be the edit method. And again, same thing as show, we're just passing through the post. So let's grab that edit blade. So all of this is for editing. And what's the endpoint for editing? Should be, if you look at the routes again, it's posts slash post slash edit. So how do we do that using Folio? Let me comment this out. So we have to create a new folder here named post. So post in square brackets, I mean. And then within there, we have to create a Edit blade PHP. So edit.blade.php. Now let's paste that in. The route model binding should pass in the post here. And hopefully our edit blade still works or our edit route. So let me make sure to save this. Let's go back here. And it looks like it still works. Again, we still need the route for actually updating the post, but we're now making use of folio for this route here. Now we also need to make sure we pass the middleware. So in this case, we have the middleware for our policy to make sure we can update the post. And we also have auth and verified up here. So let's go ahead and update that. Let's grab it from our example earlier. So this one here, let's grab all of this. Remember it has to be a standard opening PHP tag. So let's go back here. Let's put that all the way up here and let's paste that in. We have auth, we have verified. And we also have, what was it called? can update post, which is our post policy to make sure this user can update the post. So we can add that as well. And that should work. So let's just verify that. If I refresh this, 
Now, if I try to go to a different post, which I did not create, so let's try posts to edit, that should result in some sort of permissions error. And we do get a 403. Okay, let's move over our final routes here. We have our create. So this one right here, let's do this one first actually. And then we have our dashboard. So what's happening in here, nothing much. We're just passing through, actually nothing at all is happening. So we can just copy and paste that and add our middleware. So let's comment this out. Let's save this. Let's grab our create blade. Let's copy all of this. Let's make a new one within our folio routes. So the endpoint for that was slash posts slash create. So we have to create that within slash posts slash create dot blade dot PHP. Paste that in. Let's grab our middleware. Should be the same as what we just did. So same as edit. We don't need the can update post, but we'll grab that. We'll put that up here. Okay, we don't need the can update post. And let's see if this works. Go back here, create post, and that seems to work. I think I also have to update the logic. I believe I'm using route names within the actual post controller that updates or creates the post. So again, we still need this logic here. And I am using a route name here, but we'll just switch this to make use of normal URLs. And there should be another one here too. So this one should be post slash ID. So slash posts slash post ID. Okay. And we should have one more, which is our dashboard. So this right here, let's comment this out. Let's grab the dashboard. Let's copy this. Let's put it within our folio routes. So within just pages, because the endpoint is slash dashboard dashboard.blade.php paste we need some middleware here let's paste that as well and again it's just auth and verified okay save that everything should be the same but now we are making use of our folio routes wherever we can so final check to make sure everything works dashboard works list of posts works let's make sure editing works post.edit not found. So that should be within our square bracket post.blade.php. So we can get rid of this and say slash post slash post ID slash edit. And hopefully that should work. It does. Let's make sure edit works. Let's update our post here. Update or submit. Not sure why it flashed there. Let me just hard refresh and try one more time. Let's update that. And now it stays there. Cool. Does this link work correctly? Should work. It does create post. My awesome post testing submit. And everything is working. But now we are making use of folio routes. Again, if you take a look at our routes file, everything that's associated with a route, so all of our get requests that return a view, are now making use of folio directly. So we just create the corresponding file. Sometimes we have middleware. Sometimes we're passing in data for our views. And if you need any other logic, you can put that within here as well. And then all of our routes are generated automatically. And again, if you don't like this approach, you don't have to use Folio at all. And you can just use routes like you used to. And of course, like you see here, you can mix both approaches as well. So in my routes file, there are still some routes down here that do have a view associated with them. We're just doing that the traditional way. So yeah, be sure to check out Folio to see if you like this file-based routing approach.